Hello Year 1, here's some feedback about your learning activities from today. So first of all, if you did this sheet, all of these are nice and straightforward. You should have coloured in one of the pieces as all of these have been split in half already. And down here, these are a bit trickier. So this one, you should have coloured in two of the pieces as there, is four, or there are four all together. It doesn't matter which order. And this one, we can see it's been split down the middle. One, two, three. So any three pieces coloured in. One piece of this one. We can imagine this one could have been cut here or here to be half. So two pieces of this shape. I can picture this one being cut from here to here. It's made up of one, two, three, four small triangles. So as long as you've coloured in two, any two, that's half. And lastly, this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Half of ten is five. So if you've coloured in any five of those, that would be correct. And for this sheet, there are loads of different possibilities. So see if you can make sure that all yours are very different. Did you have one that had a stripe going across the top, a stripe going across the bottom? Did you have one that went like this? bottom and then into the middle and down to the bottom again, maybe the reverse of that. So check and see that you've got some really different answers for that one, making sure that you've made lots of different shapes. So it could be a three like this. You could have your two here, one at the other side, and there are lots and lots of different possibilities to explore what we really mean by a half. And as we go down to this one, so here there are other lines drawn on these to confuse us. So we have to really look carefully and see which line is it that's splitting the shape in half and then kind of ignore the other one. So for this shape, we're thinking like this section here or the opposite to be coloured in because this is the line that's cutting it in half. And for the star, it's this line that's cutting it in half. This one makes a very small section at the bottom and then much bigger at the top. So colouring in this section here. Then for this one, it is this line that's cutting it in half. So we think about this section here or this section here. And this one, if you imagine that maybe kind of on its side, this is cutting this into two identical shapes. It's hard to picture because often we're going from top to bottom. It is this line here, this diagonal one. So colouring in this section, or this section and for this one I think this one's a bit it's probably the easiest of these or possibly that one so two pieces of this one or two pieces of this one as they're cut into quarters and for this shape is this diagonal line that we need to think about to color either, either this piece or these two pieces and for this shape it has gone diagonally down this way so either to color in this section here or this section here. So this is something people find very tricky having worked and marked lots of SATS papers for year six children in the past. This is something that catches people up so make sure you really understand that one half doesn't mean colouring in one piece. It means thinking about how many pieces all together and thinking about colouring in half of them.